Hey guys, um, just want to show you a neat little way to um, create quick and easy unique articles. And also articles that can still be read by the human eye. So, what we're going to do first is um, I've got this article here from Easy and Articles. Now, this technique I'm going to show you, it's not new, and a lot of people do know about it. Um, but hopefully you don't as you watch this now and I'll, and I'll help you in some kind of way. So I've just picked this random article in no way mean in no way shape or form is it meaning anything. And we're going to copy it. And the first thing you want to do is go over to Google Translate. Okay. Let me just paste this in. And we want to paste the article in to Google Translate. Now, if you don't know where this is, you go to translate.google.com, um, or you can Google Google Translate. Now, we the page. So we're going to paste the article that we've just got from Medium Articles, for example, into the left-hand box there. Now it's in English. Um, first, we want to translate from English to Spanish, and um, we get the Spanish version now on the right-hand side. And what we do with this now is we're going to highlight the whole lot here and copy. And where they got the English text on the left, we're going to select all and paste the now Spanish version on the left. And we now want to translate from Spanish into French. And now we have the French version on the right hand side. And again, copy, go over to the left, select all the text on the left, the Spanish version. And we want to paste now the French version into the left hand side. And we now want to translate from the French version to the German version. And again, we do the same here now. So we get all this German version here, and we copy it over. We select all, so all the French side of the text, and we paste the German side into there now. And then lastly, we're going to go from German back to English. And now we have an English uh, article there. Now to prove that um, it's unique now is I'm going to go over to um, Blogger. Um, I'll select a random, random uh, Blogger blog that I have here, and we're going to copy the English um, article, the final one that we've translated from. Uh, Spanish to French to German back to English, which is here now. Give it a title. Um, I'm just going to call it Hunting, simply because I can't remember what the title was about. Um, or oh, Hunting Stores, let's just name it. So something up there, Hunting Stores. And then Publish. And I'm going to then want to view. Okay, so I'm going to view this now. This is the article. Obviously, I've not edited it in any way, so it's just going to be one massive block. You can go back and edit this and, and clean it up. Um, we're going to take the the uh, URL and copy that. Should copy it here um, for this article, and I'm going to go to Copyscape, which is Copyscape if I can spell dot com. Okay, which we'll do here, and you want to paste the uh, the domain you've put up. Here now, don't, just don't copy Blogger. Put it to your own site. Um, I'm just giving you an idea how to show how unique it is. Now I've just done it on the cuff. Let's hope. But we'll look at that. So that article that we've taken from Easy um, is unique. There's no results found in the whole of the internet, and yet the article still reads correctly. As it would do. So rather than sitting there, and I always see it is a bit of a, uh, should I say it, a tit ass way um, to do articles because someone spent all that time writing this article out and you just come in and gone, thank you very much, and took it. But it's still, you know, if you're in a rush and if you want to be a tit ass, then, you know what I mean, it's the way of doing it. So I hope you took something from that. It is a really good way of creating unique articles. It's not a new method, um, but some of you guys might not have known about it, so I, I thought I'd, I'd show you. Um, if you took anything from this, please do leave a comment below or subscribe. 
um, to the channel where obviously I do a lot of internet marketing things and like that from there. Um, but anyway, thanks for your time and uh, I'll see you on the other side.